Good morning, we're up with the birds as usual. Um, so on this one we're going to make a cutting board <coughs> out of canary wood and out of zebra wood. Uh, I'm going to try doing a, uh, an inverse pattern of what you've seen, if you've seen some of my other uh, videos, uh, my signature type cutting boards which is the uh, diamond patterns. Um, I'm going to try doing a light colored pattern. So instead of having dark wood with dark diamonds going on the center, I'm going to use the uh, sap wood of the canary wood slab to, to make light colored patterns. So we'll see how that turns out. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be gorgeous. I just know it. Um, we're gonna have this big diamond pattern going down the center. Um, it's gonna contrast very well with this zebra wood. And then the zebra wood, we're gonna we're gonna do the arrow effect. So when I flip them over, they're gonna they're gonna meet up against each other and they're gonna form arrows going against each other. Well, an arrow, I should say, pattern. Uh, so it's on to the glue up from here. So far so good, pattern's turning out really nice. I got to that, those last couple pieces and I had to use my gripper to try to steady it. Get a little off, but that's all right. It'll, it'll all surface out fine. I love the way that the pattern turned out. That's nice big diamonds, exactly what I was hoping for. So now we just gotta glue this up. And once it's glued up, um, we're gonna try surfacing it a little differently. This turned out very nice. So what I did was I took a couple piece of, pieces of walnut, glued it to the edges because when you first do this, it doesn't come out like perfectly flat. And I needed to flatten it. And so what I did was just glued these to the side and took it down to the woodworker's source and a couple bucks later, threw it to the drum sander. And these runners provided a nice uh, flat surface for it to, to run on when I did a drum sand. So there's a little, little trick right there too. If you happen to have a drum sander, like, they're too big for my, my garage. Anyway, so now all I gotta do is cut these runners off, do the sides, do some beveling, and it's ready for the mineral oil bath. Forgot. We got a sand now too. It's moments like these that make woodworking so enjoyable. That's just unbelievable. Um, you're gonna love this board, Graham. You're gonna get a lot of good use out of it. Uh, let's take you in for a closer look. It's had its mineral oil bath. It's gotten conditioner treatment. We're gonna wipe that excess off, put the feet on it, and it's ready to go. Isn't that just beautiful? It might be kind of hard to see here in the light, but um, so that's just that's all just natural wood. We went from that very light color once we applied the mineral oil on there, and went to the dark. So we'll put the feet on it, um, and it's ready for use, my friend. <laughs> 